I just kind of wanted to start just really quickly and just talk about Iggy. As a child, I was sort of an introverted kid. It kind of inspired me to write these children's books that could help other kids that are dealing with this and help everyone kind of understand each other. Want me to sign this for you? This is Iggy. Because of changes in the ocean, he recently left his old home in Crystal Cove. It had been quite the adventure, but that's another story. There you guys go. Thank you. So the fishes would rush up to Iggy whenever they saw him and ask him lots of questions. What you doing tonight? Tomorrow? The day after that? They were just being friendly, but the questions came fast and all at once. Iggy did his best to answer, but he felt a little overwhelmed by all the attention and shied away. He liked them. He just got a little overwhelmed. Iggy's is pump and woo 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 like a little octopus, okay? So can you do that? Okay. Woo woo woo. Can you guys do that? Woo woo and do that. <laughs> they invited him to play all the time and Iggy played with them at first but there were too many things to do and even though he really liked everyone sometimes he just needed a little break. So, on the big day, they turned down all the lights and waited for Iggy to arrive. And when he did, they yelled, surprise! And how do you think Iggy felt? Instead of being happy, Iggy was horrified. I'm sorry I left your party. I was overwhelmed by all the sea creatures all at once, he said, sincerely apologetic. I know I don't talk a lot, but I have a lot to say. Let me show you. Iggy invited them in and showed them his gallery of ink art. He'd drawn each of them, and all his favorite places in town, and all of his favorite fishes. Iggy had his own special language, his ink art, and he honored their friendship by telling their story, picture by picture, instead of word by word. And that's the end. Thanks, you guys, for coming. I hope you like the story. <laughs> yeah.